Hey guys, this is Ed with CMC Reptiles. Wanted to give you an update on the turtles, the uh, Central American wood turtles that I got a few weeks back from Underground Reptiles. I just got done building their enclosure. So these guys are doing really well. Got three females. Eventually I will pick up a male. So I'm looking to breed these guys as soon as the males become available. But yeah, I got... Uh, Basically, it's a five foot by 10 foot enclosure. I included the redwood tree inside the enclosure, so I built around the redwood tree. I'm using a, uh, F, I'm using a FB70 tub for the water. I've got a nice little basking spot here in the corner for nighttime temps. They won't need this during the day, but I'd like to have just a little bit of heat at night with a stone under there, so I just have a 75 watt bulb in there for them and I put all kinds of mulch bark gorilla hair I made it about seven inches deep so they could burrow in this stuff and I only did it for half the enclosure I want them to be able to have just some nice hard ground also not just full of mulch and this way it'll hold the humidity really nice and you gotta, you can see how these guys burrow inside there. I get in there. I mean, how deep these guys go at nighttime. And there's three of them in here. I, the other one is burrowed, covered up completely. And so they definitely like this deep mulch. This one was actually burrowed in there, and it just recently came out and went back in the water so that was kind of weird that it did that giving it a variety of food I've been feeding it uh, feeding all these turtles I've been feeding it tilapia bananas blueberries uh, turtle pellets and basically the turtle pellets I got some in there right now he was kind of munching on it's a mix of uh, mealworms, pellets, uh, little pieces of freeze-dried blueberries, things like that. But it has everything they need, so I am mixing up their diet. But I give them a nice little area where they could run around, access easy access to get in and out of the water on both sides. See, they've got a little step here. Um, got another little hide area there, and this part of the yard gets about five hours of sun during the late morning early afternoon so they get that perfect sunlight I mean you could see the other side of the yard right there where it has the Sun is still up um, it's still up for another three hours probably but this time of day is about the hottest part of the day and I don't want these guys in that intense heat because it does get in the hundreds over here you want it to stay between you know 78 degrees 90 degrees and yeah you don't want to get in too much cooler nighttime te nighttime temps will drop down into the low 60s high 50s but that's why I put the heat lamp back there for these guys and the fact that they can burrow nice and deep in the ground helps out too it keeps them warm keeps any kind of cold air off them it's almost like a blanket I got I put two tiles right here for these guys to bask on. The sunlight hits these perfect in the late morning, early afternoon time. But these guys are doing really, really good. Can't wait to pick up that male and start breeding these. I've got three females and I'll have one male. I mean, I can even put the red foot in here. He's almost the same size as these, but just really neat colors semi-aquatic so I definitely need to put water in here and it's a nice big tub where all three of them could fit and plenty of uh, room to roam around this should work out really well for them and it's better than keeping them in a tank or a just a small turtle enclosure I'd rather do something like this and this was the plan but what I'm trying to do is just give them pretty much a natural 
enclosure like they would be in the wild. Now these guys, these uh, animals come from a rainforesty area. A lot of trees, a lot of greenery, you know, and they hang out by creek beds and things like that. A lot of forest, and I wanted to give them that as much as possible. That's why I wanted to include this tree in here which these branches come out nice and it gives them this nice hide area where they can feel safe. And then I have this open area. I can clean this out every other day. I got the hose just a couple of feet away. So I just could spill this out, fill it back up, rinse it, and we're good to go. So I might put a couple of more, I don't know, plants in here. I put that one. I'm going to seed some dandelions in this area so dandelions will grow up. Stuff they could feed on also certain times a year. But they should do well out here. All right, guys, I'll keep you posted. I just wanted to give you that quick update, and I will talk to you guys later.